说这里是意义上的那个第三集，对吧？这里我们来到了个屠宰场，我们先下意识的先点一下，等一下，这哪个是现在？啊，这个是未来，这里有个按钮，这里有个那个，这个是不用碰的，我先按一下，然后啊，其实就开了。好，我们进这个地方，然后发现这里有个人和一个警察。这有个马蜂，先调查一下，看看这个地方的东西，似乎在调查一些什么。他被锁了，但这个时候他就已经生锈了。嗯，这里有个尸体，尸体上可以拿到一个打火机。打火机能干什么呢？我我只是随便试一下，当然不是这么玩。嗯，我们再回到刚刚那个场景，这个场景里面有钩子。这是什么？你可以用这个把它掘开吗？不行。原来里面有东西，这样忘记。刷子，刷子能干什么呢？对啊，这下就对了，这就合乎其理了。我们利用刷子，嗯，去用用一下这个油漆，不是吗？这样呢？哎，嗯，嗯，这是个破刷头。然后再想一下，啊，这应该是用这个吧？好像还缺个什么东西。他已经做了很多蠢的事情，请你不要再这样说我了。啊！智商君终于上线了！喂喂，这是个 bug 啊！这是个 bug 啊！啊，那我们重新重重新来一下。这个 bug 我也是醉了，啊、呃，这边有开关，开关点不了，点亮。哎，好像到这里就已经，我就已经没有玩过了，好像有玩过。这是有个棍子，那棍子我就拿着去打那个马蜂窝吧。不了，嗯，鸟，哈哈，直接就跟我说不，果然是不一样的。棍子能干什么来着？我再下去一趟，我看还有东西没拿，别又像刚刚一样他已经没油了，这里也干不了什么，果然不是这边。哦，对，那个那个垃圾桶还把他挡住了，后来这个垃圾桶坏掉了，然后就可以走了。嗯，我们似乎还需要点东西，我们有缺东西。这个棒子干什么？干什么？能干什么呢 ？Are you？ 那那不买，继续
。啊，我们先获得了一个古锯，没错，是古锯。古锯能干什么呢？我猜啊，这当然是锯铁条。请你不要再打我脸了，我的脸很疼的今天。耶、yeah, ，终于对了。那、啊、我们就到了下水道里，下水道里有根血清，应该是血清吧。等一会儿，等一会儿，我来来来来来来，我用一下，看有什么东西吗？没啊，那是什么东西啊？啊，我已经知道怎么玩了。这里我也可以想到，这是针管吧？应该是。我怎么看这英文单词，我就老说它血清，可能要被打脸了，但是没事。我们用这个去注射，去抽一个，抽一管这个，然后放在这里面啊？不不不，放在这这里面？是不是不是，这个东西是打在哪来着？干嘛？我这怎么没想到？哇哦！这烧是一阵发芽。我对我自己的智障，智商，对智障，我应该是个智障。我靠！我要被喷了，我要被喷了，我要被喷了！啊，来来来来来，我们废话不多说，我们赶紧先来到这里。没错，这个马蜂窝已经没有任何用了，所以我们现在可以进去了。那我们连着吧，四五张我们连着，因为毕竟这个流程比较短。现在已经没有任何的对话了。The corpus， 尸体。上一张是 machine， 机器，就是这个传统机器。这边有个 tire iron。那边不是应该有一个警察什么的吗？啊，这里我有玩过，好像。这里没东西可以拿。这里呢？哎。这小钥匙。那你也没必要咳嗽吧？下去。这边剪刀。Ow! 那你你被扎到了，你这会不会不会破伤风啊？这，这边有电线，简单点，不行，跟他说一句话看看。他非常认真的看着那个东西。我们现在这边这个呢，被锁了。当然我们进来了，这边有个车的钥匙。哎呦，你干嘛这个东西好像是可以用这个东西，不是吗？这是电池，所以我们现在啊，对，没错。嗯，这里，嗯，跳下去。其实现代的话，直直接回到现代往下走楼梯也是可以的。但我感觉这样走也不错，连上。哇哦！哇、wow、哦！然后呢？啊，又又把钥匙。嗯嗯，这不是老头吗？哦，他已经死掉了。把它剪下来
Mas rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace. 我们在上楼。现在有一个这个和那个钥匙，钥匙的话应该是这个里面的，对，这里。资料，啊，拿这个，对，这个就可以找到他的资料。Lake Crichton， 怎么读啊？这名？他需要一辆车，对，他要一辆车这样。这一段我好像就已经没有玩过了，但是有了这个东西以后，现在有点难，现在还是有点难了，我感觉。对我来说就已经有点智商不够用了，对我。啊，应该是要用到这个。这是个地址啊，他肯定是要撑个车什么的，比如说，但这个轮子我们要用一个什么东西把它拿起，等一下，这样吗？卡，然后我还要把钥匙我才能进去吧，还得去找把钥匙。这回说的钥匙会在哪里呢？这里吗？应该是从现代的某个房间里面拿到，我个人感觉。开车走了。这一段好像我有玩过。啊，对，就这里以后就没有玩过了，好像是。Here, out on the road, everything seems so normal. Same moon, same night sky. After an hour of driving, it's Easy to forget all about that dead world back there. How could Lambert have survived, though? If he came from the future, how did he not die along with everybody else? I just saw his body in the morgue. Now I'm driving out to talk to him alive. How does that work? Do you just leave a copy of yourself every time you use the box? Is that it? Are there copies of me all over the place now? What if he's not there? What if I changed something and he's not alive at all? Maybe all of this has been completely pointless. Maybe there's nothing I can do after all. Maybe these will be my last days, along with everybody else's. Ugh, the thought ties my stomach in knots. No, I better just not think about it and carry on. Did I bring enough gas? God, I hope I brought enough gas. Chapter Six. Hello, 大家好，我是会长苏子君，欢迎大家收看这一期的 The Silent Age。那么现在呢，主人公也是想到了很多很多的东西。没错，他想到的东西都是的确需要考虑到的。也许他已经做不了什么了，他什么东西都改变不了了。但是他最好不要去想，尽力。Nice. 千斤顶，应该是千斤顶吧。还有一个气气囊吗？这里有一条小船。啊、uh, ，Man， <笑>这还给我了我个成就
，这里这个时候呃，等一会儿，难道是啊？等一下，我上通了。然后这样，直接上船吧？不行，他也不需要前艇里面。他其实想的其实有点道理的。如果说按按他这个想法，好像就是时间悖论啊！我又要被打脸了，我跟你讲，我什么都不记得了。啊哈啊！我明白了，呃，明白了，明白了，明白了。拿这个东西接在这头，然后对，然后拿了这个东西到这里去灌。When I was a little lad, and so my mother told me, "Way haul away, we'll haul away, Joe." This song is quite good. Ah, here, one fish. Ah, it's a pity. This is not good. 这个东西能能看一下吗？啊，这个其实就是这样弄的，把它撑开的东西，也不应该说叫千斤顶吧？这剑子，哎呦我去！嘿，啊 ，what the？ 看我干他！哎呀，干不过他。那这个东西肯定不是用在这里的，呃，把它剪掉。我、哦、当然是开玩笑的了。啊！嗯，这边这个玫瑰花它也不行呐、啊。再说了，用玫瑰花，他又他又他也不怕、啊。我又又开始想了，现在因为是没有，别跟我说还能回去。不是你怎么看房子？房子里面有条鳄鱼，好吗早先叫我需要用这个东西，对什么东西啊？把它剪开嘛。这边这个就可以进去了，把灯打开。这边有箱子，不能看。嗯。电子组、电器组件之类的，这什么东西？嗯小钥匙。嗯，我觉得又要开始很复杂了。这种东西没能拿吗？好，那我们就走吧。来到前面的这里，你现在来圣宫，我还要我还要不能不会玩。我跟你讲，现在来圣宫我就头大了，又要来现在又要来过去。哎呦，哎呀，对不起。还真是这样啊！那你还想什么呢？那肯定是这样玩呗。尼莫，你好惨啊 ！See you later。这个，这给的成就也太过分了。电锯，当然不是用来锯木头的。啊，把门锯开。没有，没有，我怎么办？不可能去再去前面那个地方加吧？这
里有没有呢？没有。房子房这个小房车里面呢，应该不算房车吧？这这个东西。去看，我管你在不在家。好，这时候我们已经来到第七章，说明这一次我还是智商军还是有在的，虽然也是有几个地方没弄好。哇，又是这种话，果然这个老头是一个很。很深奥的人，这个叫什么话来着？一下记不起来了。你要读书吗？这里有把枪，那说明哎，等一会儿，不行吗？只有一根了，钢琴。啊，好，该不会？嗯，然后呢？这有个有个开酒瓶的，嗯，看看，我们看看。我们看还有什么东西在这里？这里一块应该是，哎，这里有个门，那是拿它撬开它吗？这地下是酒窖，这是个酒窖，少了一少了一瓶酒，那说明我到时候可能要要把那个酒再放回去，再找一瓶酒把它放进去之类的。啊，这个就是时光机了吧？我猜的，小音响吗？ Very sciency， 这什么东西、啊？什么东西的电灯？什么东西的灯泡嘛之类的？什么灯泡之类的？这个门能开吗？不能。啊，明白了，他可能是这样玩。先到外面去一趟。这个门啊，真惨！啊，而、啊、且不,不能再出去了吗？好吧，本来以为是到那个车里面，在那个应该是算房车吧，再回到那个车里面去，这肯定不行的。呃，在呃，等一下，难道是这个？啊，不是。试试看吧，这个有个灯，啊，他都不能看到，那肯定不是。哦，我懂了，把它换成这个灯泡。嗯，鸟。啊，不行啊，太太太小了嘛。上面有东西吗？还？这个灯泡可能是那种特殊的灯，呃，就是一照啊，它的东西就会。Far out。就会隐，就会显示一些隐藏的东西之类的。Hmm, no。太大了，不适合。那我们就要想办法用。这个灯泡也换不了啊，我们再回到上面去。Boy， 哎，这个灯泡应该用在这个地方。你也别吓我一跳呀！关键这个灯闪了以后又能怎么样呢？啊，原来是这样。
这就是日光灯之类的吗？哎，不行，拿不出来，拿不出来。那么再看，哎呀，我怎么不让点出去？再看看这,这什么呀？这有什么？树枝，下楼，不对，下地下室，消防器，不不，灭火器，还有这里，灭火器，哼，不是我要灭火器干什么？倒是这个用不可能，嘿，这果然就是传送仪。粘一下，哦哦哦哦，真的是粘一下、啊，不可能啊！全出去吧。哎，涂一下。当然不是这样的啦，那应该干什么呢？这个东西应该干什么呢？我不知道，我真的不知道。我的头啊，快炸掉了！不是这样的。哎，等一会儿，你不给我拿呀？别跟我说他会消熄灭！你在逗我，灭火器里面没有水果然是这样。然后应该到哪里去呢？好，我把把钢锤砸了。把门砍开了吧。这个这个这个这个好像有部电影叫什么《闪灵》啊，这这个灯，这个灯我喜欢的，可是我这边没有找到，没有地方买，叫什么岩浆灯。酒瓶我就把灯就插在那里了，小水之乡，我们还得上去，恐怕啊，果然是密室。Stop right there! Whoa, whoa, wait! Ah,、uh, Mr. Lambert, sir, it's me, Joe. I don't know you. What are you doing in my house? You, you sent me here. Remember? I've done no such thing. For an intruder, you're not very bright. You know that. For all the commotion you caused getting in here, you might as well have brought a bulldozer. Now, you have exactly five seconds to explain what you're doing here, or so help me God, I'm pulling this trigger and sending you on your way. Five. I, I, I was sent here. Four. By you, three. You told me to find you. 
to warn you about the end of the world. Two. Y you were old, uh, with white hair, and you got shot. Oh, God, please don't shoot me, Mr. Lambert. This, this, you gave me this. Uh, it's an inter-something, uh, chrono. It's a time machine. I gave you that? Yes! I've never seen anything like it, but on the back, that's my family's signet. I made this? It's simply magnificent. I gave this to you? Why? Who are you? Name's Joe, sir. I, I'm, I'm just a janitor at the Archon building. I found you in a room with a big, round door in the basement labs this morning, and you, you were dying. You said you'd come from 40 years in the future to stop the end of the world. I, I, I guess I was the only one around, so you gave me this and told me to find you and tell you all this, and I've been there. The future, I mean. A bunch of times. And you were right, Mr. Lambert. Everyone's gone. My God, so it did come to pass. They really did it, those greedy goddamn bastards. I told them this would happen. Wait, I was dying? How? You said you'd been shot. I had to actually find you at the, uh, uh, the morgue to get this address. Shot? By whom? No, wait. Don't say anything else. You succeeded in finding me, which means anything you tell me from this point on could alter the course of action that brought you to my doorstep. The less I know, the better. So, you've seen the future. What did you see? It's like a bad dream, sir. Everyone's gone. Buildings are coming apart. It's all just quiet. What happened, Mr. Lambert? It is Doctor, Dr. Lambert. And considering all the effort you just went through to find me, not to mention bearing witness to the horrific outcome of the biggest breakthrough in the history of science, I suppose I owe you some kind of explanation. I was 24 when I got hired by Archon, or Athena, as it was called back then. Athena was one of the many weapons R&D companies formed during the Second World War. Unlike other R&D companies that had retooled themselves to pursue peacetime activities after the war, Athena had made enough money to continue chasing the next big thing in defense technologies. They were betting the farm on post-war Soviet expansion, raising the level of government paranoia to create a lucrative market for esoteric weapons research. I'd say they made the right bet. Still a theoretical physicist at MIT, my thesis on the possibility of time travel via dimensional membranes got published shortly after I was hired in 1961. Company heads were so impressed, they gave me a team and a budget. Development exceeded even my own expectations. And after only six years, we had the first primitive version of the time machine up and running. Our first successful trials involved sending simple objects into the future with a timed return. But with Archon running out of money, that was all the company bigwigs needed to secure a big fat contract with the Department of Defense. Apparently, we had sold them on the idea that the technology could be used to go back in time and strangle communism in its cradle. The reality, of course, was that it couldn't. Due to the laws of causality, you can't travel back in time beyond the point where time travel was invented. And sooner or later, we had to explain that to our benefactors. When they started pushing for progress reports, Archon management had to come clean, but instead chose to ease government concerns by claiming the technology could be used to bring back advanced weapons from the future. But this, too, was a lie.
At this point, we'd already had our first of many human trials, and we knew there would be no weapons. In fact, our results were as terrifying as they were baffling. Time pilots returned frenzied and confused, raving about empty streets and human remains. At first, we assumed the city had suffered a Soviet attack in the near future and had been evacuated as a result. But as we pushed on further, the terrible reality became clear. Time pilots started returning fatally ill, dying within a day or two from painful convulsions. Some never returned. We lost several pilots, machine prototypes, and other equipment. When the first contamination erupted in the lab, we were completely unprepared, losing three lab technicians to what we later identified as an incredibly aggressive airborne virus. Although we weren't equipped to handle biohazards of this magnitude, management insisted we contain and study it to keep our pilots and the virus alive long enough to study. We co-opted experimental cryotechnology from another project, Lazarus, and established a makeshift virus lab. Once again, the bigwigs managed to spin our setbacks into a success story for the Department of Defense, now claiming that the virus could be cultivated for use as a biological weapon. The team threatened to resign but outrage was swiftly quenched by promises of massive salary increases and stock options. I didn't take the bribe. I'd witnessed the lethal efficiency of the virus firsthand. I knew there was only one way this was going to end, so I handed in my resignation and set up shop out here. For over a year, I've been working to recreate the technology to bring me back in time and prevent mankind's extinction from ever happening. And now you're here, the harbinger of doom at my doorstep, wearing a boiler suit. Who could have imagined that Judgment Day would begin like any other Monday in May? In any case, Unfathomable as it may be that you were able to bring this information to me. Knowing is only half the battle. Preventing the outbreak will require more than just your tenacity. Me? Wait, what? Yes, I'm afraid I must rely on you one more time. You must go back to Archon and prevent the outbreak. No, no, that that's, uh, I mean, I'm really honored and everything, but... Believe me, you're the last person in the world I want to entrust with this, and I mean that quite literally. But by this time tomorrow, the entire city will have succumbed to chaos, panic, and death. You're here now, and you're all I've got. Wait, but what about you? Can't you fix this, Doc? Don't you have a plan? I can't go myself, because that would break the law of causality. The only reason you are here to warn me now is because I was there to send you. And the only reason I was there to send you is because I was able to bring my work to fruition here. But... We've no time to waste. It's the only way. You told me you found me this morning, correct? Yes, but... That means I failed to stop it, and the outbreak has already begun. The time pilot for today's trials must have brought the virus back from the future which then somehow got out of the containment chamber and spread. That pilot is patient zero. I need you to destroy the supercomputer system controlling the time machine. All the research data is stored there too. You must destroy it before the time machine departs. I'm reconfiguring your device to send you back one day earlier. This should allow you ample time to return to Archon and get inside. On the other shore from here, about 500 yards down the road, is a rest stop. You'll find a van there, fueled and ready to go. Oh, I already have a ride. Which won't be there yesterday, you ninny. Now stop interrupting me. One last thing, and I need you to listen carefully because this is very, very important. 
Make sure you do not meet the earlier version of you. Why? What will happen? No one knows for sure. It's one of the conundrums not yet accounted for. There are theories, of course. None of them pleasant. Now, let's get you ready. How did I get myself into this? I nearly got killed trying to reach Dr. Lambert, thinking he had a plan. And it turns out it's me. I'm the plan. At least I don't have to walk back. This van's not as cool as the ambulance, but it has its charm. And it sure was nice of him to pack me lunch. I wish he'd pack me a can opener for the beans, though. And some gas for the Bunsen burner. But I'm sure I'll think of something. I've got several hours of driving ahead of me, after all. It'll be almost morning before I get to Archon. I just hope I have enough time.那么到这里呢这一段剧情你干嘛梳头发但是呢他们在时间旅行当中发现了未来的世界竟然已经是世界末日然后他们后来送去的那个旅行员呢他们也在未来呢就发现了这个病毒的事情然而这个旅行员呢他自己也是会得这个因为这是个空气传播的这个病毒所以说这个旅行员他自然也会被感染也就意味着如果我们现在不来得及去阻止的话一切就会变成这样全部的事情都会来不及所以现在我们主人公的